Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Vostro 14 3000 series, the exact model is at 3400 and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can upgrade the storage, add on the storage or increase the performance. If yours has only a hard drive, mechanical drive, you can change that to a solid state drive and what are the combinations that you can have in here. Just remember if you replace your main storage then you might want to install the windows from the usb drive press install it's free you can do that i'll leave that link in the video description how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive or 11 and another video how to install it properly on your dell laptop without having any of those bloatware inside the windows it's very easy and based on the your license key it counts based on the motherboard once you connect to the internet it's going to automatically activate itself so this video is just going to be pretty much the combination of the storage and what are the limits that you can have in here. So let's dive into it. So first thing first, back up your files in case you want to replace the main storage. You want to flip it upside down. Uh, this tools from the repasting, so. All right, so down here, we're going to go over the tool that I'll be using. I fix the screwdriver set. I purchase the basic tool set. And we're going to use a Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, you can use a guitar pick to help to opening it, a metallic guitar pick. Down here, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to remove all the screws except that one in the back mid, in the back corners. These screws, they have something called a C lock. A C lock will prevent the screw from coming out entirely. And we're going to leave two screws, one in each corner for the end. And I'll explain uh, the reason for the C lock. So we're going to remove the screws on the in here, two sides and three in the front. Go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mix matching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Now that we removed the screws, and here about the corner the screws, the C-lock. The C-lock, what it will it do, as soon as I start rotating this, it's going to counter push the bottom cover from the palm rest. So you can see that thing opening. So I'll keep rotating until I hear that click sound, and then I'm going to let go, otherwise I'll be sitting there for hours just rotating. Same thing in here, rotate, and you're gonna see that click sounds. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my finger right underneath, I'm going with my thumb, I'm gonna push on this hinge, I'm gonna bring it like that, up and down, up and down, and then I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna work myself to the side, front, to the other side, you put it down, up, down, and you release the bottom cover. There's a tiny hook, in the middle that grabs it from here, that's right in here. So those uh, click sounds that you hear, those are the tiny clips are getting loosened. So don't worry about that big click sounds. All right, down here, we're gonna see the battery. We can see a mechanical drive and we can see a uh, storage space for M.2. This is a PCI Express, so you can put an NVMe in here up to four terabyte with no problem. I see on the manual, on the you can call the call center support. They will tell you, no, you can't put it. You can go only for 200, 500 gig. Every time you call, they give you some bogus number. We have upgraded this for our clients for a four terabyte NVMe, and you can put up to two terabyte mechanical drive in here or four terabyte solid state drive. You can grab any of the solid state drive. In this case, my client brought their own Kingston half a gigabyte. So we're gonna put this one but you can put a four terabyte in solid state drive or up to two terabyte mechanical drive, but the mechanical drive has to be a low profile, a slim one. And the only lowest profile, it goes up to two terabyte. But I would recommend you to guys put a good SSD here up to two terabyte if you want and another two terabyte on NVMe so the transfer rate between them are super fast. These are the uh, premium from Intel SSDs. They fit there. We, for now, we're gonna put here for the NVMEs. You can grab a crucial four terabyte or a crucial 500 gigabyte or Samsung e e Pro 980s. I highly recommend them. And I'm not gonna open this brand new, so I have an 
open box here. So for demonstration, you don't need to disconnect the battery to do this service, absolutely not necessary. For the SSD, they provide you with a screw right at the back. That's a good thing. So you want to remove this screw and you want to grab your SSD and VME and make sure the notch matches the notch right on the dim. You want to bring it down in 20 degree inside the connector and then it's going to sit like that. And then you just want to push it down and put the screw right on top like that. That's how you can add or remove the NVMe on this side. You can put up to four terabytes single sided NVMe. In here to remove this mechanical drive, drive and put in Kingston or whatever storage that you want, you want to remove the four screws. I don't know why my client bought, uh, bought this one because apparently they had it. Uh, this is much, much, NVMe is much faster than SATA connection. So I'd rather put a 500 gig in here and put a Windows in here and it will be much faster than having a SATA SSD. Where did my screw go? Right there. So anyway, so to remove this one, you want to remove one, two, three, four screws on the caddy. The caddy is the bracket that holds the drive in place. So remove the four screws. Once you remove these four screws, what you want to do, you want to grab this drive gently. You don't want to damage this flex cable. You don't want to yank on the flex cable. You grab it from the adapter and pull it backward. And that's where you can disconnect. This is one terabyte Seagate, low profile. So what are we going to do in here? We're going to open up this one. And we need this bracket to hold it in place. So you see they have the same connection right there. So we need to remove the four screws in here, two on this side and two on this side. And we're going to put it right over. So let's go ahead and remove the screws on the side. All right. Once you remove the screws, make sure the orientation for SATA connector and power connector are in the same position as the new one. So I'll put that one down. I'll grab this one in the same position. I'll put it right inside this carry. And then I'll put the screws right where I remove them, two on each side. So to put it in, just grab the adapter. Only goes in one way. Just push it right in there. And bring the caddy. Make sure the screw holes are matching. The tiny pin hole there. Drop it in there. And it's not moving. Put the four screws right on the caddy. You see this one is moved around a little bit. There we go. And there we have it. So we have, we're going to install the windows in here, not in here for this client, as it would be much better to install it on an NVMe. So we're going to remove this screw. To remove this one, you just want to slide it back the same way that you put it in. And put the screw in there. So again, put the windows in here. Keep this one for secondary storage but the way you want it, it's fine. Put the bottom cover on, squish the corners down, and put the screw on the corner, just tighten up, and it's gonna pull the cover to itself. And to finish it off, just put the rest of the screw in place. I'm just gonna put the Windows installation in here so you guys can see when it's gonna boot up to the Windows. So I have my Windows installation in here so i'm going to plug into any of the usb port uh, always make sure when you want to install the windows always have the charger plugged in power it on and it's going to find that there's no you can press f12 keep tapping on f12 it's going to prepare in one time boot menu and from here you want to come down and choose your usb which is for me my samsung flash drive and it's going to boot up through my Samsung flash drive. It's going to take me through the Windows installation. It takes 5 to 10 minutes. And you are inside the Windows with no problem. And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And I'm going to go on a second step. It's going to see the storage in there. I'll probably fast forward this part. Maybe not. Accept the terms. Next, advance. Check my videos for this one. Now, if it doesn't find any driver in here, I have another video to discover you storage. And if it doesn't show up in here, you need to load up a, a driver 
I'll leave that link in the video description. So that's good that it didn't show up in here. So I'm going to choose the driver, load driver. going to go to my, I'll put it inside my USB. It's called a rapid storage. You go to the rapid storage. Go here and load the driver. And there we go. You're going to click next. And now it's going to load the driver and it's going to show up the storage in here. So some people are like, okay, I put that. It doesn't show me. It's because you need to load the drivers for some model, not all the model. And there we go. We have the 500 gig storage right there. And we simply click next and it's going to install this in a window. And that's it for today's video.